Hey guys, Ivan here and we have a Kai Green update from right now. As you can see, he says physique update with the current date and this is him. This is what he looks like right now in 2021 and it is absolutely insane. As you can see the comment down below from Aaron Singerman, he says this picture is literally Kai right now. No pump, no food. Post cardio, he is bigger and better than ever. Legs have come up to a ridiculous level. So Kai looks insanely big right now, and also like the waist is not even bigger. It looks even smaller than before. It looks really, it looks better. He was uh, known for having a huge bubble gut back in the day, but he fixed it actually in these couple of years. I thought the exact opposite is gonna happen, you know. Palomboism, as Louis Marco used to call it, basically when your arms and your legs, your limbs become much smaller and your torso, especially your stomach area, becomes much, much bigger. And that's, all, that's not only what happened with uh, Dave Palombo, it's par that's probably the worst case ever. It happened to many other older bodybuilders. With Kai, I don't see it happening. No, no, his waist has even become smaller now. So a guy of his age, you would not expect this. You would not expect him to be this big, this lean. After so many years of not competing, you would think he retired. He would like get a little bit smaller, a little bit smoother. But no, it, it really, really looks like he's getting ready for a show for Mr. Olympia. Yeah, I know, I know. He's been hyped up so much and a lot of people don't like to talk about him. But look at this. Look at this, man. It's, it, it has never been like this in the past couple of years. He never looked like this. He, he looks like he's getting ready for a show. Come on, let's be real. And guys, check out these comments of him, Kai Green. Current weight, 317 pounds. Kai Green is 317 at this level of conditioning. Two questions, how and why? How did he get to be this big, this conditioned without even competing? And the other question is why? Is, it, is he doing this just for Instagram or for movies or something? I really, really don't think he would put his body through something like that. And uh, no, there is no way that he got so big and so shredded by accident. No way, no way. He's gotta be pushing himself to the absolute limits. Guys, 317 pounds in the offseason, looking shredded, basically four weeks out of a show, something like that. Three, four weeks out, basically. And this is actually post-cardio. He didn't even eat, he did not get a pump, and he's weighing 317 pounds. He did his last Mr. Olympia seven freaking years ago, 2014, and the last time he competed, it was 2016. But ever since, he was posting a lot of teasers, a lot of photos, and we were always speculating, will he come back, will he not? But this is the first time that he looks this good. This is just much, much better than... It's better than 2016, I believe. Yeah, yeah. And if he comes back, who can stop him? Who can stop him at the Mr. Olympia? Big Grammy, Brandon Curry, William Bonek, Hari Chupan? I don't think so. I don't know. I, I don't think so. And I think he knows that, I think everybody around him knows that, and I think everybody, I mean, I'm sure most of you can see that, that if he decides to compete, he can win the Mr. Olympia. 317 pounds of shredded muscle, with smaller waist than before. I'm not sure how well will this translate to the stage, though. It could be a different story on the stage, but highly unlikely. I mean, you guys know Kyren. He has been on the stage so many times. He looks absolutely ridiculous on the stage. And he always looks like this off the stage. So you can expect him to be really good on the stage. So he looks just as good as he looked back in the day. I don't know if his weight was 317, 320, whatever in the offseason before, but I do know that he's a big bodybuilder. I mean, especially those legs and the glutes from behind, the lats and everything. His back is just ridiculous and he's not even showing his back here. I'm, I'm thinking he's saving those photos for a little bit later. When we see his back and his glutes and everything from behind, yeah, we're gonna know, we're gonna be sure that that's it, that he's, he's winning the Mr. Olympia. So, again, I'm not sure if he's gonna be competing, but I would really doubt that he would put himself through all this trouble, look like this at this point, and, you know, just to tease us or whatever. Maybe he wants some crazy offer from Mr. Olympia to offer him a lot of money, and if they don't, he may decline the offer to compete, 
But again, getting this condition, I think they will offer him whatever it takes. Because if he decides to come back, that's gonna sell a lot of tickets. And that would be the most exciting thing that happened in bodybuilding in so many years, actually. So, I mean, would you be more excited to see Big Ramy, Brandon Curry, Hadi Chopin, and Phil Heath, or whoever... Or to see Kai Green come back. Kai Green, who is 317 pounds right now in a good condition. How much would he weigh on the stage? 290? 300? Something like that. Something around there. I mean, I don't think he would go lower than 290. 290 on the stage, guys. That would be ridiculous to see. So right now, Kai Green looks absolutely insane. And whatever you think, will he come back? Would he win if he came back? Tell me down below in the comment section, but I think it's pretty clear what's going on. I'm pretty sure you'll see Kai Green on the stage of the Mr. Olympia. I really believe that. And if he does that, I'm pretty sure he's gonna win. That's just my opinion. Whatever is your opinion, tell me down below. Oh, and yeah, Kim Williams, of course, won Puerto Rico, bro. It was pretty much expected. He was definitely the best bodybuilder on that stage. He was, he was really conditioned, actually. Surprisingly. I think he was a tad bit sharper than Mr. Olympia, but he was still on at this show. And there was not really a comparison between him and the other two guys. He won this fair and square. I'm pretty sure it was a little bit more clear who's gonna win this show in person. Because when I saw individual photos of all these guys, I was actually able to see how much they were conditioned or not conditioned. And if you look at the individual photos, you can see that Hassan did not bring the conditioning. He was maybe like 2% better than the last show. He was still very soft, like 5 weeks out, 4 weeks out. Um, not for any bodybuilder, some bodybuilders could get, could get ready much faster, but for him, he would probably still have to diet for like 5 weeks to get uh, in, in Akeem's conditioning, for example, because his glutes, I mean, he was covering them with, with, with the trunks, but you can still see that they were pretty soft, and hamstrings as well. So, of course, Hassan was not even considered uh, as a potential winner, even though he was in the middle, as I told you, he was in the middle because they put Akim on the side, because they were sure Akim is winning, and they were comparing him against Mohamed Shaban, and Mohamed Shaban actually edged Hassan Mustafa, and he was second. So, Mohamed was second, and Hassan was third. And I absolutely do agree with that decision, I think Mohamed was simply more conditioned. Yeah, he probably is not exactly better bodybuilder than Hassan, but Hassan just didn't bring it, he wasn't ready. Mohamed though was conditioned, probably not as ripped as Akim, and he just doesn't have that much detail. He's, uh, he's a little bit new to the game, uh, so yeah, with time I'm sure he's gonna do great, he has a lot of potential for sure, I mean he's very close to achieving his maximum potential, and once he does, he's gonna be a really good bodybuilder, but as for now, second place against uh, the top 6 Mr. Olympia competitor, Akim Williams, is a great achievement. He's gonna keep competing until he qualifies for the Mr. Olympia by winning a show or by points, I'm not sure, but I think him and Hassan will be qualified, at least based on points, because they did so many shows. The next show is Chicago Pro, as far as I know. There might be one more show before Chicago Pro, but I'm pretty sure Chicago is next. And I'm pretty sure both of these guys will be there. Uh, probably not gonna win it, but they will definitely get some points. And they will probably be on the Mr. Olympia stage uh, in October. Alright, 212. Guys, Cisternino did not win this uh, very, very depleted lineup. I mean, only four guys, including him, so... He had to beat only three bodybuilders, and these bodybuilders are not exactly very well known. So most people thought that guy is gonna win this show easily, but he didn't. He was second. And I made a video yesterday saying, actually asking you a question, should the guy retire? Because a lot of people said that in the comments, and now I feel bad about it. But that's part of my job, when I'm doing this, I need to be objective, and that's what I saw. And so I called it, I said it, and uh, it turns out I was right, he didn't even win this show, and I'm honestly sad that this happened, I didn't want to be right, but yeah, uh, he lost, he lost, and as I said yesterday, if he can't win this show, which show is he gonna win? He's probably not winning any more shows, maybe he was off, maybe that's something with like, uh, I don't know, some kind of peak week mistake, but I don't think so, I think it's just age, I think he's just uh, basically done, I mean, he should retire, I'm not saying he's a bad bodybuilder, of course, I mean, second place at a pro show this level, it's still great achievement, but for somebody who won New York Pro twice, and who was top 6 at the Mr. Olympia, 
this is not exactly a success. It's not. It's it's not. So, you know, he probably should stop at this point. But if he still loves the game, if he enjoys it, who am I to say that he should stop competing? I'm just talking about his legacy. But then again, maybe he comes back better next year. I don't know. So I just had to say this. I mean, he doesn't look as good as he once was. He looks worse year after year. And I think it's just age. Nobody can beat Father Time. And that's just facts. And now he lost to this guy. So he was second. Uh, as I basically... As I thought, really. I wasn't sure what's gonna happen. But yeah, it happened. Because... I mean, you can watch the video from yesterday. There was a lot of weaknesses on his physique. And I think it, this was the, the right decision for sure. He should not have won this show. I don't know what his plans are for the future. Will he compete again in another show? I think he will. That's what he said before. But maybe he changes his decision based on, based on this. Because he does need to make some improvements. If it is possible at this point in his career. Whatever you guys think though, tell me in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. All the best guys and bye bye.